Welcome back to that dad guy. It's June the 9th, 2023. It's Friday. It's not raining right now. It's kind of at the end. Well, I'm not going to say the end because I know tomorrow is supposed to be a little bit overcast as well. Uh, we're looking at Sunday as the first nice day back into the 20s and no rain, but uh, it's done well. I've even actually put some uh, grass seed outside to try to take advantage of all this rain. I figure might as well, if it's raining, we might as well get the, the lawn watered and get some new seed growing up in the dead patches. So uh, hopefully that will help. And hopefully uh, other parts of the country now that are having wildfires will get under control as uh, the air around the world is uh, being affected by what's happening here in Canada. Um, the fires that we had here in New Brunswick and in Nova Scotia are mainly under control now or out, uh, but the fires that are burning in Quebec and Ontario are really making the air quality in some places like New York City uh, unbearable. And uh, I know I've seen lots of uh, videos and things on uh, people that are complaining about Canada because of our, well, it's not our fault, our are things are on fire. Um, yeah, if you want to do something about it, come on up, bring your firefighters and uh, help put them out. Um, uh, which way the wind blows is uh, not something we can control. So uh, what we're trying to do is uh, keep everybody safe. That's uh, the main important thing. And try to protect the animals too. Those are the uh, people that I worry about are the, uh, the things that I'm worrying about with all the, the wildfires as well. All right, so let's get off that topic. Let's get on to post crossing and uh, friend mail. A whole bunch of stuff showed up this week. Uh, there's some really special things in here. I've even got a uh, package I haven't yet opened. I just got it at the mailbox. So uh, you'll get a chance to see uh, what's in there at the same time that I get to see what's in there. So that'll be exciting. Hopefully that'll be exciting anyways. And uh, if you enjoy this stuff, tune in, uh, subscribe, like, comment, and uh, share with other people. That's uh, seeing how things are going right now. And commenting is what I really like because that means I get to interact. So let's get to uh, the official cards first, as I tend to do. And this one is a nice painted hedgehog. Um, you can see it done here by Gail the Snail, as she's referring. She comes from Great Britain. She says she lives in uh, Coles Hill which is near Birmingham. And she said, this is a small coaching town. It was the resting place for coaches from London to Manchester and beyond. A circus came to town in 1904 with elephants and sadly one died. So she's buried there. And uh, they have statues and monuments to her memory. And then she asked if I've ever been to Legoland. I have been to Legoland, at least Legoland in Florida. Uh, I took the kids when they were younger, and I think it was the perfect time to go. Uh, Legoland had just opened up in Florida at the time, and uh, the rides were um, designed for younger kids, so it wouldn't work with the teenagers that I have now or young adults that I have now. It wouldn't have the same impact. But uh, the one thing that she said when she went to Legoland in uh, Windsor uh, that she really enjoyed, which is the same as I did, is the miniature cities that are recreated there. So you can go and see the the streets of uh, Washington DC or Seattle or Paris or London or whatever city they've recreated out of Lego bricks and just fantastic you can walk through the area um, that was one of the best things about Legoland I even found the Legoland uh, store for buying things wasn't as good as say the uh, Lego store that you'd find in uh, Disney in Orlando it was a little different and wasn't quite as good so for me Legoland when I went uh, the best thing was doing the walkthrough of uh, the cities all right, and then she says her uh, son who was into Lego is still into Lego at 27, but she refuses to buy him Lego sets at his age. That's your choice, but uh, if he likes it, he likes it. So uh, if you know what to buy, that's the hardest thing to do to buy for someone is, uh, you know, what do I get? Especially when they get older, when you can buy your own things. And so if he already gives you a list of things that he likes, makes it easy, go for it. Continue to let him have the hobby. What I want to show on the back are the stamps. Very cool stamps, nice stickers, all sorts of uh, imprints and things around there. So uh, thank you, Gail, for this. Thank you for the beautiful artwork. She is relatively new to Post Crossing. I checked out her uh, her page and uh, she'd sent about 150 cards so far. So, I mean, she's in the early stages of it. But what I really like, she said, is that she wanted things to paint, reason to give her to paint. And so uh, painting a hedgehog and doing a fabulous job at it. Thank you, Gail. All right, moving on to the next card. This one comes from Russia. It's a Lord of the Rings card, and uh, it's from Ira. It says, sorry for the delay. That's all right. Whenever it gets here, it gets here. Uh, it says that she like, likes uh, Detroit, 
Become Humans, Marvel Films, uh, Star Trek, Mandalorian from the Star Wars franchise, and uh, she found Lord of the Rings, but she also found this, which was, look at the stamp. This is the ancient postal routes in the Soviet Union or in uh, Russia. And so you've got some of the traditional stamps there, oh, but this one is just fantastic. So I actually used my uh, Google Translate to go on it just to see exactly what it was saying. And I love it. I love it, Ira. Thank you so much. And she says, sorry for the mistakes. There's no need to be sorry for any mistakes. <laughs> Uh, you're writing in a language that is not your uh, first language. And when I write in my first language, which is English, I still make mistakes. And so no, no need to be sorry. I love the card and I love the stamp. So thank you. Now, one of these cards, I couldn't remember which one. I got another one that came from Russia. So I'll explain that first and then I'll tell you my thoughts. This one comes from Olga. And... Uh, she is in the oldest city in Russia. They're celebrating 1,160 years old, and it's Smolensk, S-M-O-L-E-N-S-K. And uh, there are all the stamps that are on the back, including a hedgehog sticker. And one of these cards, now they're both stamp dated pretty close together but took 240 days to get here. One of them says it took 100 days to get here, and the other one says about 240 days. So I'm not sure when they originally left. There is no uh, no date on it, but this one does say second postcard. So I wonder if she sent the card and it never got registered because it never reached me here. So she sent off a second card, which may be the case why the date is like that. So that this is probably the card that took over 200 days to get to me. But it got to me, so we always worry about the expiring uh, cards that we have out there. One day they'll show up. Now, I did. I sent a parcel to a friend in Lithuania, Skyestia. I sent uh, one to her in February, I think, to try to get there for her wedding, which is until September, but I was trying to get it right in on it, to get it to her. Never received the parcel at this stage of the game. So uh, I did resend out a couple things, hoping that she'll get the next one time for the wedding but I'm disappointed that the first one never never arrived oh well all right this next card also comes from Russia very super special to me that I even got this card so uh, I'm hoping one day we're going to be able to write again back to Russia but as of yet we cannot so this nice mailbox card arrived from St. Petersburg from my friend Yulia um, so she said she saw this postcard and thought of me and thought she'd send it off and I appreciate that she did uh, we used to be able to communicate back and forth through Instagram, but they've uh, cut that off for uh, for Russia that they can't use it or it doesn't make it easy to use. Maybe some people are. Um, so my communication with Yulia has to be in the messages that she leaves me for YouTube or uh, in the postcards that she's able to send to me, but I'm not able to respond to her uh, directly anyways. I have done some sneaky ways. Uh, my friend Jilly B of Jilly B Living Your Life Her Way, sometimes I can send her a card and they have mail access from England to uh, Russia, so she can put it in an envelope and forward it that way. So we have tried doing that, but it does take a long time doing that to send it to England first and then send it on. There are the beautiful stamps. So thank you so much, Julia. Thank you for reaching out. Uh, I'm, I'm glad to, to hear that you're out there and uh, still interested in messaging. So thank you. One day I'll be able to send cards back and then you watch out, there'll be lots of cards coming your way. All right, this next card comes from England. Speaking of England, we have a delicious cake with the, the rainbow in it. This comes from Michelle, and Michelle and I every month have a theme where we send each other cards. Uh, she's right on top of this one here, sending it off, getting to me early. Uh, so June was Pride, so we've got kind of a Pride card here, and uh, some rainbows and rainbows on the other side too. And we have some amazing Black Adder stamps. If you haven't watched the uh, Black Adder TV show, uh, it's worth watching if you're into British comedy. Um, you just like to laugh. It, it's really great. Rowan Atkinson is uh, the main character who plays in that. And uh, he does some good stuff. It's very historical and topical and uh, it's funny. So thank you, Michelle. All right. If you've been watching for a little while, you would have seen that I got a mystery card from Australia few weeks back. I just had my address on it, didn't have any writing on it, 
and I had no idea who it came from. I thought maybe I did, but I didn't. Uh, the mystery has been solved because this week I received not one, not two, not three, not four, but five cards from Australia. Uh, this one arrived blank and I'll give you a show. It's really cool. It's an articulating kangaroo card from Australia. You've got Ayers Rock in the background there. It's a very cool card. Um, and then this one showed up from Perth, Western Australia. But on the back, there is writing this time. It says, hello from Perth. I picked cards that are impossible to write on. That's why he wasn't writing on them. It's from Ross. Ross has uh, sent some cards and they all have the same stamp on it. So when I saw the stamp, I went back, I uh, checked the card that I found as a mystery card, checked the writing, everything matched up. So I knew, okay, this was one that got here ahead of it. So he actually sent me six cards from Australia. So you saw one a couple weeks ago. You saw these two. Here's the third one. And uh, he said, it's funny, to give you the timestamp, I'm watching the coronation live. That's when uh, he sent this. I thought what else gives you a timestamp? When, can when uh, the post office stamps the cancellation, uh, there's a... Uh, a date on it Ross <laughs> or you could write the date on it when you send it those are all things that would give me an indication when it was sent but I appreciate the card uh pretty funny nice western card that one's not as funny as this one koala bear surfing I mean you don't see that everywhere but maybe you see it everywhere in Australia that's what he says yep you see surfing koalas everywhere I keep showing you the stamp but they're the same and then the last one, I'll show you the stamp first. And there you've got the blank card. And you can see up there, what does it say? It says, bicycle riding has become increasingly popular in Australia. Well, I guess everybody's doing it. And if he can do it, so can you. Thanks, Ross. Thanks for all the cards. Thanks for taking me along on uh, your business trips. Uh, through your postcards, that is. So I appreciate it. And I really, I got a message from him today that was absolutely fabulous. Uh, if you've seen the show Ted Lasso, it's amazing. And you know that now. If you haven't seen the show Ted Lasso, you should go watch it. There's only three seasons of it. Uh, the third season just ended and it probably will be the series finale. They wrapped everything up. Uh, there could be a spinoff show of it. Uh, but it's hilarious. I love Ted Lasso. And uh, Ross sent me a picture today from an area. He said he's looking for Ted. And uh, if you've seen the show, the, uh, the picture uh, just comes right out at you. You know, he's in England and uh, it's a, a certain location. So I'm not going to say any more because maybe there'll be a postcard from it. Who knows? All right. The next cards come from my friend Lewis. We have this one here. It says, uh, weddings are super cool, but this one was amazing and also dangerous. So here you've got all sorts of different superheroes at the wedding. And here are the beautiful stamps on the back, the cancellations, the decorations. So that's one. I say that's one because this one also arrived, the Black Widow. Here comes the cough from talking too much. And on the back, Lewis has these stamps. I like that he mixes up the stamps and there's different things. I try to do that. It's dependent on the size of the card. Sometimes I have to use an international stamp, which right now we only have two options for international stamp, which is the yellow bird. And that's the $2.71 stamp. Or um, there's a Mod Lewis kind of a winter scene that's also a $2.71 stamp that we have. Otherwise, I put three domestic rate stamps, 92 cent stamps on, but if the card is uh, too small, it's hard to get all that and get a nice message and everything into. All right, that being said, the third the third card is an Alice in Wonderland card. It's oversized card. It's just a bit bigger. Uh, it doesn't say a lot on the back. That's because he's put this full souvenir sheet stamp on the back. Love it. Absolutely love it. So thank you, Lewis, for that. So he did send three cards, but he also sent something else. I'm going to save that to the last 
Um, if you saw the thumbnail, you might know what the other thing might be. All right, speaking of, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, special things coming through. This one was a, uh, a message asking if we could trade. He saw those really long cards that I got in Montreal and asked if he could have one. So uh, I said, yeah, sure, I'll send you one. And that was Michael in Germany. And he sent me this card in return. And once again, let's use a normal card size. It's a bit bigger. And all this made it through the mail without getting bent or ripped or torn up. Um, he says he's from Dusseldorf, which uh, the card kind of says too. And he says it is, uh, he's been living here since 2017 and uh, since 2021 with his girlfriend. We love this beautiful town, even the original, uh, uh, even being originally close from Cologne, which is the rival city. Inside the strange, famous buildings are offices and two bars and restaurants with good views of the Rhine Tower and the Old Town. <coughs> I apologize. Um, then he talks a little bit what he's doing, how old he is. Uh, he's been to Canada several times, to Vancouver and Banff, uh, visiting a girlfriend. That was when he was on the West Coast. But he's also been to Middle Sackville, which is here close to Halifax. So that's very close to me. That's within a, a two-hour drive from me. And he says he loves beaver tails, especially the chocolate banana ones and A&W. So thank you, Michael, for that. And uh, here's to any more swaps you'd like to do. Um, yeah, beaver tails, fantastic. It's a, a low flat dough, almost. Uh, so think of it as a donut that's been uh, pancaked. And then they uh, can cover it with uh, cinnamon sugar or apples or chocolate banana or a whole bunch of different toppings you can put on them. Um, I've shown, I think, I know I certainly have shown beaver tails on Instagram. I think I've shown it a few times on uh, some videos too I've done in Halifax and maybe even here. <coughs> you might be saying, get some water. Well, no, 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 I'm not going to stop. I'm just going to take breaths and you're going to get to... Hear me cough every once in a while because I get excited and I keep talking. All right, so thank you, Michael from Germany, for that special card. The next thing comes from Media in Finland. We have uh, these stamps. She always uh, puts them in envelopes, and that way she can send more than one card. And there's some special cards in here. All right, let's do this one first. Recent, I've got a few different... Uh, Banknotes. So this is the old banknote before the euro. Bank of Finland there. So we have that. We have the variety of lighthouses, which is interesting to see the different lighthouses that are around the world. They're not all the same shape. Well, I mean, they're all towers with a light on them. So we'll give them that. But the construction, whether they're brick, whether they're wood, whether they're concrete, um, whether they're cylindrical, they all seem to be different wherever they are around the world. And finally, this is probably my favorite of the three, just because of the theming. We have a mailman traveling on a bicycle, delivering mail. Um, there's the mailbox there. The kids are around with their sleds and things. Maybe it's a school snow day. I like his uh, uniform of the time. So just very vintage. Media tells me of the museums that she's been seeing and where she's uh, been getting some of these cards. So um, she's been having fabulous luck at seeing, finding host cards everywhere she goes. And uh, it seems to be more prevalent in European uh, communities too to have postcard shops still. There's not a lot of that here. Uh, where we find our postcards generally are in tourist locations. So when people are visiting and want to see a certain attraction, that's where you might find a postcard. Other than that, uh, shops that just sell postcards, we don't have that here. All right. The next one also comes from Media in Finland. And I really like these, or this particular image on this stamp. And inside. Oh, there's another thing to see on the envelope. I don't know if you can or not. It's very faint, but it's a Moomin cancellation. This is the Moomin Museum here. See the Moomin image right there. And inside, we have a Moomin card. 
which is good because my wife was asking about Moomin not too long ago. And I said, oh, I've got to get Moomin cards from Finland from time to time. And so now I'll have to show her that one. And then this one, we showed you a snow scene before. Well, here's another one. It says, what do you think of this boat? And it looks a little chilly. I don't think I'd want to be traveling on that ship. Um, it looks like it's been through the Arctic and was sprayed and uh, wasn't moving fast enough and froze solid. And then finally, last week she sent a card and a new stamp that was a, a creation of an artist there. And here we have another card. It looks like a maxi card. It's not really. It's the, not a real stamp, but it's an indication. She says she's in Tampere uh, today and she's going to go to the Postal Museum to watch some of Verpi Piccola's cards. And so this is an example of her artwork. Very beautiful. I'm gonna focus in on that stamp too. Really cool. And there's the details. Should you happen to be there and wanna check it out yourself? Let me slide those away. Put that aside. And move on to the next thing. Uh, so many great ones here. Okay. There's another. This one comes from Jilly B living her life her way. There's another great black adder stamp. I'm happy that I'm getting so many of them. Maybe I'll end up having the whole collection. <laughs> Who knows? But there you go. She's decorated it all up with great London theming, English, British theming, even a little umbrella in rain. On the back, we got her bee. And that kind of looks like a wax seal, but it's just a sticker. And she has been kind again. First, we're all part of uh, the Unicorn Club, her and I and Renee. So she sent me some unicorn stickers, which I'm going to happily be able to put back on uh, envelopes or cards going to her and Renee. Uh, she sent me an anime card. She sent me another black adder card. And these are blank, so that means they're going back out into the world, so somebody else is going to get a chance to enjoy them too. Um, this is where sometimes you struggle. You say, I love these cards. I'm going to keep them and I'm going to protect them, but... Other people are going to love them just as much or more than I will too, which is fantastic. And I don't want to uh, to hoard them. Uh, I say that now, but there's always one or two that maybe take me a little longer to send off back into the world. Uh, it reminds me of the video I did not just last week on uh, Maria from Greece. Uh, she sent me a uh, blue cat card at one point in time that she was holding because she loved it. And she uh, questioned why she was holding it because... It's got to go out in the world. That's the whole purpose of a blank postcard. It's not to hold it in your own collection. It's to fill out the back, put a, a sentiment, a message that uh, you're going to send to somebody else and uh, they're going to get to enjoy it. So something like this card, this one's another one of these ones that says, oh, I love this. The Royal Engagement, July 1947. Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, Prince Philip there. Uh, great image, fantastic card. It's one of those ones that's like, if someone ever sent that to me, mailed it to me, wrote on it, it would go into my collection, it would be very special. Um, it's been sent to me, it's very special that Jilly has sent this to me, but because it's blank, it's going to go off into the world and someone else is going to get to enjoy it because that's the purpose of this postcard. Uh, we're not here to collect like pieces of paper, we're here to write on those pieces of paper, put them into the mail system, give uh, mailmen and women uh, a job, and uh, <laughs> let's keep this postal system thing going. More stamps, more postcards, what's wrong with that? She sends this Harry Potter card. I know you're thinking, this is a long video. Mm -hmm. This is what people sent. We have this Guernsey card. Forever is com a composed of nows by Emily Dickinson. So there you go. You can think on that. So thank you, Jilly. Check out Jilly B Living Your Life Her Way. Make sure you're subscribed to her channel. Um, we're going to see all these channels grow, which is great because uh, she puts out fantastic uh, content as well. Uh, put a really cool video today or last night. I can't remember. Time's running together of uh, the new Warhammer 4000 stamps that have come out. It's celebrating 40 years that Warhammer's been around, uh, little miniatures and things like that. Uh, if that's not your thing, it's not your thing. But 
I got introduced to miniatures. I did some painting of it. I've been to Warhammer shops and uh, I've got someone that I've been after for a long time. Uh, and uh, he's got an amazing collection. I am trying to get in there and do a video for you guys so you can see this a collection that he has. All right, moving on to Kyler from Prince Edward Island. He and his boyfriend were just over in um, England, and uh, he sent me this card. He sent me this card, but there is something else coming too. Uh, so he says they're having a great time in London. They've had great weather, seen all the sights, um, and then they were heading off to the north. So yeah, I'm saying all the things you go see, whether it's castles or cathedrals or wherever, you're always spending money to get your souvenirs while you're there. That's the traditional thing. And of course, the lineup at the ATM machine or the bank machine to get your money to pay for all that stuff. And here are the stamps. Don't forget the stamps. I can hear people screaming that. Don't forget the stamps. And then this one arrived. And this is in the north. So they arrived on the same day, which was interesting. Um, he said it was interesting going around town and seeing his last name showing up on all sorts of different buildings and places. And I, I'm sure it is. I had a chance. Uh, my wife and I, we went off to uh, Scotland after university. We were touring Europe, but we went up to Scotland and we went to... Uh, the place where Lennox is well known and uh, went and saw Lennox Castle and went into the library and talked to some people about the Lennox name and got to learn all sorts of interesting things and went to yeah it, was, it is cool to see your name on the things whether or not it's a, a distant relative or not very cool and Iron Maiden stamp lighthouse nice stamps and then Kyler wasn't done he turned around when he got back to Canada, he sent this envelope. There's the King Charles stamp. And what did we have inside? Oh boy, what did we have inside? We had uh, a card of the passing of Queen Elizabeth II in one of her many outfits. This one is written on and told me about uh, what was going on. So. This one will remain in my collection. I'm very happy about that. Some of these other ones are going to be very hard to uh, to part with. I can tell you that. This one here of the coronation of King Charles III. Really cool card. Blank. Queen Camilla Consort. Blank. The couple together. All on Coronation Day. The crowds on Coronation Day as the uh, streams of red, white, and blue, or blue, white, and red, or however you want to say it, of the colors that are also on the Union Jack fly by. And finally, a King Charles III card, just like this. So these will end up going to people out there one day. They may not go this weekend though. <laughs> I may hang on to them for a minute just to enjoy them for a little bit longer before they go off to the right person. Now, finally, uh, you've been waiting this long and so have I. This envelope from Lewis in United Arab Emirates also showed up this week. So on top of the three cards he sent, he sent this. Uh, this one took a little bit longer to get here, but not that long. It says it was sent on the, looks like the 15th or the 18th of May. So, what, three weeks? That's not too bad. So we're going to cut into this. i got to be careful because I don't want to cut the contents inside. And I don't know what those contents are, so I have to be extra careful. Snip, snip, snip go with the scissors. All right, there looks like there's an envelope inside. There it is, so contents are done. And this envelope showed up. Uh, United Arab Emirates Post Stamp Collection. Interesting, you have me intrigued, Lewis. Oh, there's a letter on the back. It says, I know you like stamps a lot, so here's a small present for you and Polo. Stay safe. Thank you. 
10th of May it was dated, so that means this is probably the 15th of May that it was sent off. That's correct. Okay, this is, uh, looks like it's laminated. Oh, no, it's not laminated. Wait a minute. It opens up like a booklet. What have we got going on here? Oh, 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 oh. First day cover. Oh, this is cool. The World Paddle Tour in Abu Dhabi. Huge first day cover. I've never, I don't know if I've seen a first day cover this big. There you go. It is mint, so it's never been used, which is good. I like that. That's how I like my first day covers rather than written on and sealed. Because then if it's sealed, I have to tear the top to get the contents of inside. And then also there is a souvenir sheet of those same stamps. He's used this, uh, I think only this stamp has been used on things that he sent to me. So that's cool to have both of them. I really like these. These are massive. Like, there's the small King, King Charles stamp compared to one of these, which is this whole paddle. And it comes in this really cool folder to protect it. It's never been opened, so I'm going to leave it that way. I'm going to leave it sealed, keep those stamps in there protected. So thank you so much, Lewis, for that. That's an extra special. I'm always excited to see the stamps you put on the postcards. So to get the something like this, this mint that I can set aside and put with the stamp collection, I really appreciate that. It's nice to get things that are from uh, your country as well that I can show off because not everybody's getting stamps to United Arab Emirates. I, I feel fortunate to be one of the people that you write to and uh, send the these uh, special things off. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you to everybody else who has uh, made this video extra special and uh, has stayed this long till the end to see exactly what's happened. Tomorrow is That Dad Guy Answers, so today is your last day to get your question in. Um, the last part was part 69 last week, so you can go back and write in your question. I'll answer it tomorrow. I'll also uh, retell you the uh, month of June's question that I've asked of you. If you want to respond and send in a postcard with your response, you can do that. Sunday, of course, uh, I'll be writing postcards, so I'll show you what's outgoing, or some that are outgoing. I always hold a few back to keep them special for other people when they receive them. And there's a couple things that are happening this weekend. Uh, it will be dependent on the weather, whether I'm able to go and do some filming of them. So if I am, you might see an extra video come this weekend. Um, and uh, this we're starting to get into festival and activity season here in Moncton, so when the weather cooperates, I think I'm going to have a lot more things to show you. Next weekend, for example, the Snowbirds, which is the uh, Canadian Air Force's uh, special acrobatic team that comes through, uh, they're going to be here on the weekend next weekend, so there's going to be things to do downtown, uh, military vehicles will be out, we'll be having uh, special parachutists that are will be performing, uh, the Snowbirds of course will be flying by and doing their acrobatic tricks. That's going to be happening all next week, so or next weekend. So if the weather cooperates and everything's a go, I probably will do some filming of that to show you. Um, they're pretty incredible, so I really like uh, seeing the snowbirds. It's been a long time since we've uh, gone and checked them out. I used to take the kids down when they would come to town so they could see it. Um, last year got cancelled because they were having mechanical issues with one of the planes, and you can't fly in uh, formation and do tricks if one of your planes is not flying quite right because they are really close together. Uh, these guys are, these people, because uh, women are snowbirds as well, um, are uh, trained professional uh, fighter pilots and they can do some amazing things. So stay tuned for all the stuff. It's all coming up, uh, including things like Rib Fest, uh, Highland Games, car shows. Yeah, Moncton is going to be booming with things coming up. Buskers are happening this year. We have our own busker festival that will be a first for this city. That's happening this year. Yeah, I'm excited. You can tell. I'm excited. we got things going on here and things to do, and I'm going to bring you along for the ride. So have a magical week. Like Polo? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy?